Logan YouTube, this is Everything Fish. This is the second video of the tank topic series that I will be continuing since the first video did really well for the amount of time that it's been up. So today's topic is whether or not your floor can support the weight of a tank. Multiple things you need to consider when you're thinking of where you're going to put your tank. Things to be considered would be which floor of the house and which room you want to put it, what the size of the tank is, what you're going to put it on, such as a stand or if it's a small enough tank, a sturdy table. Now, when it comes to calculating the weight of water anyways, as long as you have a calculator, you can figure it out. What you need to remember is that one gallon of water is 8.34 pounds, plus you need to factor in the actual weight of the tank, the stand, substrate, decorations, and filters. So when you add that all up, even the weight of a little 10 gallon tank can be over 100 pounds. Now if you have a 180 gallon tank, you better be putting it in your basement and you have a re unless you have a really well built house. Which leads us to the next thing to consider, which is which floor you want to put the tank on. Next few calculations I'm about to give you aren't exact, but they're fairly accurate. Now assuming you have a decent decent house, not a trashy one, not an extremely well built one, floors are going to have their weight limits. The average bait is going to hold about as big of a tank as the average hobbyist is going to want to have and we find up to a few thousand gallons more than likely. The average first floor, while still stable, won't hold near as much as a basement. And I would put a maximum of 180 gallons on it and preferably less, again, unless you have a really nice built house. If you plan on putting a tank on a second floor, I would recommend no more than 100 gallons with 75 being even better. You can go bigger, but you're taking a chance there. But if you are willing to take that chance, you just better make sure your tank, your floor is going to hold the tank. As far as what room you want to put your tank in is really a personal preference. I keep all my tanks in my family room because that's where I am most of the time in my house. Some people have fish rooms just for fish tanks, and some people keep them in their basement totally out of sight. Which, if you're breeding or growing out fish, is fine. But in my opinion, you can't enjoy the fish as much when they're somewhere you're never around. But that's just me. That's pretty much the main things you need to know when deciding where to put a fish tank. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out a bit. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it.